they're not behaving correctly. There's something wrong about them and why can't we just, you know, why can't you just fix them? It doesn't work like that. It does involve the parents being trauma-informed, doing a different approach, meeting the needs, not all the wants, but meeting the needs. It's crucial in attachment trauma. And there are five needs. Now I'll start with the letter A, <coughs> autonomy. We all need autonomy. It's alone or alone time. This is in your PowerPoint, but I'm doing it now. And I'll, I'll because parents don't have a blueprint. Like, okay, when I'm in the tsunami, what do I do? Meet the five A's. Autonomy. Does my child need some alone time and space? Feelings take up a lot of space. There's a boundary exercise where I have the parent on one end of the room and the child's on the other, and the child says, this is my boundary, this is my space. And I say, when you're having your really big feelings, how near or far do you need your parents? And when the child says, this is my boundary, this is my space, the parent starts walking towards the child. And the child will say, stop. And I have the parent stop, listen to the child, and then have the parent stay where they are and look around. This is how close, how near or far she needs you when she's having her big feelings. A lot of these kids need what's called line of sight supervision. They can still see their caregiver. They can't leave the room, but they need them there, but they're quiet. They're doing something else in the room. There's a parallel play going on, but their attachment figure is there if they need them for whatever reason. So we all need alone time sometimes, just quiet. Too much is too much. These kids get flooded very easily. Their windows of auditory input is K-I-S-S, -S, keep it short and sweet, okay? Tell kids what you need them to know with confidence and always conveying with your tone of voice because kids are relying on the nonverbals that you're here. We're in, use a lot of we and us. We're in this together. We're going to get through this. We're going to solve this problem together. We're going to figure this out. So, um, so autonomy. So maybe they need some alone time right now. Attention is listening. Maybe she just needs listening. Doesn't mean I'm agreeing, but we all need listening, okay? Listening to. So when a child says, I just need you to listen, it's not I need you to listen to get me my iPad. I just need listening. When kids feel heard, that's actually the prescription that minimizes the symptom. It gives them that sense of, somebody's just listening to me and that's a need just to be listened to so autonomy attention affection we all need affection does my child need affection right now that could just be a, a hand on the shoulder they've shown in brain scans when we are touched the whole brain lights up we don't touch kids now as clinicians we cannot for legal reasons. Some kids, it's okay if it's therapeutic and safe. I will ask kids, can I give you a pat on the shoulder? Because you're doing a great job. With kids who won't look, and we're getting to it, who have lack of eye contact, I always ask them with my tone of voice, I'm asking them what I'm not saying is, I'm safe, I'm not going to hurt you. I go, can you look at me for a minute? Because I have something I really want to tell you that I think is really important for you to take in. Eye contact is very scary for a lot of kids, but I ask permission. Okay? So following their lead and being very aware of my nonverbals. Um, so autonomy, affection, attention, appreciation. Kids need to be told what they're doing well. Okay? And parents can always find little things. They can just step back and go, you know what? She actually threw her plate in the garbage. I'm going to point that out. Thanks for throwing your plate in the garbage. What we make prominent, we make more prominent. Kids, most kids, seek the approval of their parents. They seek the approval of us. We all are seeking the approval of each other right now. 
okay? We all want to know that we matter, we're important, and that comes down to we all want acknowledgement that we exist, that somebody sees me, that you matter, and all these feelings matter, and we're going to figure this out together.